Hello and welcome back to Triclaw Gaming. Today you're with me, Dean, and we're doing another Gungeon video. Uh, I haven't had any comments about who to play this time, so I shall be going with the Marine. Uh, I hope you're really all enjoying the Gungeon conflict. Uh, conflict? Uh, Gungeon content. Well, here we are back in the Gungeon, and we're here with the Marine this time, whose passive allows him to get an armor every floor because of his helmet. So, let's do what we do best and murder a bunch of things. Uh, his passive item, sorry, his active item, allows him to uh, call in an airdrop once to refill his guns. It will only work if you have a gun which is missing ammo in your hand as well, so... For now, it won't trigger because he has no extra guns. Oh, these little things here... Whoops. Those little things here will drop the item that they're represented to do, so that one drops a key. And as you saw, whenever I take damage for the first time, my armor pops off, so my helmet popped off. Oh, those bullets uh, track your movement slightly. So they're very annoying to deal with. I have a wizard somewhere. Oh, no, it's a book. Can are <laughs> the little signs they make whenever they just kill over dead is hilarious to me. The shotgun kin, though, I. They just go, eh! Eh is not a very appealing sign, you know. Dynamite! But thankfully, uh, this is not too bad at the moment. Oh, already found the boss room. More dynamite! And slimes. Oh, this would be good. Um, you have guys haven't seen this yet. Sometimes doors will be locked and you can open them with a key. But there's another reference. It's Link. Uh, he asks you to map out the entire floor and he will give you a chest. It's a chest which isn't locked, so it's worth the key anyway. But if you find an unlocked room, it's much better. Ah, we have Mr. Dracula. He takes away hearts from you and gives you money. Essentially, just can't kill people. Ooh, another key. This is a key run today. Sure, why not? Ooh, it's the Luxin Cannon. It will fire out a lot of Rainbow Spray, basically. I've, I'm pretty sure it does. Yep, Rainbow Spray. Explosions of any kind will stop um, any kind of bullet. Having a fast firing weapon is very nice, especially one which does a lot of damage. Oh, plus one. Uh, this will mean every time I fire a bullet, I'll get an extra bullet fired, which is very useful. And then I've like shared the completed map. This guy? I get an item. Uh, Master of Unlocking. Play well, get keys. I can't remember what that does. Uh, it gives the ch chance of getting a key on a room. Okay, we are on a key run this time. Fun, fun, fun. This will also apply to the boss. So hopefully the boss is a good one for me. I'm hoping... There's only three bosses it could be. And I'm pretty sure you guys have only seen two. And I think this is one of the ones that you've seen. King Bullet. And there we go, a flawless fight. Uh, 
and I just got 50 from that. And an extra key. In fact, because I got 50 from that, I'm going to take you guys to a very special area. Seeing that I have four right now, it's a very good idea, me thinks. To kick a water barrel and show you the hidden gungeon. Now, if I walk into the fireplace, there's a switch. And if there's a switch, there's a room. And if there's a room, there's a happy Dean. And we shall enter the next floor of the dungeon. We have gone to the oblique. Oh, sorry. Oblet? Oblet? I, I, I'm not good at French. It's basically like the normal second floor, except a lot more difficult. And has a different boss at the end. Except this boss is set. Again, it's a boss I've never fought before. I'll stick with the witch pistol. Yeah, the witch pistol will occasionally change enemies into chickens. Or such like. Of course, it actually has to hit the enemy and not reflect off them. A lot of these bullets do become mutants, sadly. And a lot of these chickens do get in the way. Okay, I need to start using normal thing again. Normal ammo again, because um, otherwise I'm just gonna die. Cool. Partially filled all my guns. So I can now use the Lux Cannon if I wish, but I'll probably still use the Witch Pistol. But here we go. It's a lot of... it's a, basically a sewer level and I find it very interesting has a lot of unique enemies, but a lot of enemies also get grandfathered in from the normal second level as well. I got a key from that, by the way, so I now have four keys on this floor already. And we have another... another shop which has the cell creep in it this time. I can drop items down in that hole to get money from them, but I don't want to. Oh, uh, this will actually allow us to unlock another level later on. It is the armor old crest, which I'm going to look into the thing because I think if I get hit once it goes. A uh, piece of armor crest, uh, yeah. So you get hit once, you get restricted from accessing the next floor, but it's really good. I'm taking the dog. This is the Hunter's normal passive item. There's a chance after every floor it will dig up an extra item for you. That item can also be a key. You can see where this is going. <laughs> okay. Sometimes just getting rid of these enemies with as chickens is better than actually killing them. In fact, the Witch Pistol is a gun specifically designed just to get rid of ads. Like, it has higher numbers than normal, yes, but it can get rid of annoying enemies faster. And there goes that shield I wanted to keep. Because I was dodging two enemies at the same time. Exploding chicken! Please no, I don't want to die. Uh, for those wondering, you do not get a perfect clear on a floor on a boss run if you get hit your armor. So basically, after getting that, you have to clear the norm this floor normally, and then get to the area in the third floor without getting hit once.
Okay, that's fair, that's fair, that's fair. Hiding in the corner, cause it's what I do best! Now, if I was an item room, I'd be behind a locked door. <laughs> Chicken. And have a heart that I will save for later, because I am probably gonna hurt, get hurt at some stage. Eventually I will need a new item. Or a new uh, weapon. Okay. These rooms, nothing to worry about. He says, immediately taking damage after saying that. Don't worry, I have a half a heart and sword. Ooh! Yay! Um, this is an A-level chest. It gives really good things. Snowball. Uh, snow ballets. Uh, basically, the farther the bullet gets away from you, the bigger it gets. And the bigger bullets are in this game, the more damage they do. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go over to here and... Um, thank you. Well, here we go. Back into... Killing, killing, killing. That was just money. Isn't it sad whenever you only get money? Uh, the Ori gun. It's basically whenever it hits a wall, it will um, attend to it and then just stick there and do a bit of damage. Oh. Uh... And we're on to the um, alternate second floor's boss. I've never faced this boss before. I am kind of scared. The, the Blobulord. Very big slime. And I'm not getting that 100% completion, because I... I completely feel that. Because that first area... That first attack I was not expecting, so... Sad for me, I know. And there we go! Second boss defeated. Sadly, it was not... Um... Sadly, it was not perfect, but I did unlock a new item for that. And what's this item? We have a Tommy S Thompson machine gun. Nice! And this will just take us to the normal third floor now. It's just a... This is just a machine gun. Taking out fire hazards left to right and center. Just call me Smokey. Right, I'm gonna use this for a while. Ah, dog's already been good to me. Give me a key. Thank you, doggo. Okay. Now, there's an item on this floor I want to pick up and bring to floor 4, if I can survive. And another key! Jeez, I am rolling in keys today. Oh, no, 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 no. That will spit me out. That will chew me up and spit me out, and I do not like that. And boom. Got a mini boss that way. Oh. 
the rubber bullets can electrify themselves and they hurt you if you hit if they hit you. It's very dangerous occasionally. And here's the boss I hate. There he goes! I took way too much damage on that. But the map, thankfully, will just show me everything. Uh, Parchmental. So Parchmental just changes the look of the Oregon and makes it into planes. And we have the Snowballer, which makes us bigger the more that they fly. We are very lucky. Oh cool. Uh, what I want from here is I want the sponge, because I can see what he says, and I want monster blood! Which means I now absorb anything on the floor that will catch fire or anything. And monster blood means if I get hurt, I will drop poison around myself. Now, normally this is where I'd be able to put the coat of arms I got from the last floor, but I don't have it, so it's not going to work this time. But now I can see where all the nice stuff is. Ooh! Secret room right there. Fish bash bosh, just like that, we're done. Everything's on fire. I am um, fearing for my life. Why is there more? There shouldn't be more. Please die, chickens. That's your only point in life at the moment. No, it doesn't seem like it, but Snowballer and Plus One are doing a lot of work. Oh, and what's this? Oh, whenever I roll and I drop a bomb. That's actually very useful. <laughs> Extra damage is extra damage. It also moves them. So I can do a lot more management of enemies. All the bombs. This will actually make getting the um, secret rooms a lot easier now. Because normally you have to waste um, a blank on them. Unless you have an exploding enemy in the room. And for us, now that we have the rolling bomb upgrade, means we can just ramp, uh, roll near the wall and it will blow up the entrance for us. And of course, we can't always guarantee that the room will be in a room which has enemies. Like, the thing could be here. Which it isn't. Or it could be here. Against that wall. Which it is. Which means I now need to do that final boss with what, this boss floor without uh, blanks. Good for me. And we have a slicer. That is dangerous. Uh, slicer is just basically... Uh, you fling out... Oh god, is that... I don't even know what you'd call them. I, I, I don't know. But let's see who we get. The Gorgon! Oh, yeah, I can do this. I can do this no problem without, uh, without blanks. Okay, come on. Be a gore gun and die. Okay, I don't appreciate being trapped in a corner. That was really bad placement. That actually was my fault as well, sadly. Duck team. Uh, I can put two guns together. Which means... I now have 
one less gun, but it has the combined effects of both guns, and it reloads at separate times. Even two B-level weapons can become a really good weapon, so in that case, I just decided to put the Ori gun and the Lux cannon together because they're very, very useful for taking down bosses at this moment in time. <laughs> to floor free. It's a shame that nothing triggered there for my um, witch bullets to turn into chickens, because I would have been able to get rid of that jammed enemy very quickly. Oh yeah, I should probably explain jam. Uh, whenever enemies are jammed, they get, I think, double the health and 50% more of the damage. I'm going to be very careful. Because this lovely TV I have, I want to keep. This is not meant to happen. Damn, I took way too much damage on this floor. And that's what my uh, monster blood does, by the way. It causes that massive area of effect. That is a ban shriek, I believe. Uh, it causes the blank effect around it whenever it screams. Normally it does that whenever you fly fire near it. Its entire job is to protect other monsters from being destroyed, like so. And then whenever all the monsters are done, it will do that. This is the jammer. That's the only reason I have jam a bit uh, to be done right now. It's because of him. Uh, they will heal me to full health. But for now, I shall avoid that. And be as reckless as I want. Basically, as long as they survive on half a heart, they can fill me up. Uh, that's a planar beast. D&D uh, references. D&D reference for the sake of D&D reference. And a mind flare. I'm not sure which one's real. They multiply. I think the one I'm firing at is real. Yes, it was. They separate themselves into separate entities and then... Two of them are fake, one of them is real. If you hit the real one, it won't die. It will die. But, um, if you don't hit the real one, it will just dissipate the clones of it. Being very, very, um, loose with my life at the moment. Because I don't worry about it. I got an extra half a heart there. Okay, I don't want to end this run just because I've been too dim-witted. Okay. Uh, I wonder how they're going to operate. It's a good thing that for Harry... Very, very, very... Harry... Yeah. That healing fairy heals me up to full health. Because I think I would have been concussed. Oh, cool. <gasps> Toxic bullets! <laughs> I now have more chances to poison. I should not be allowed more chances to poison. Every so often a bullet I throw out will be green. It will poison enemies nearby. Green bullets are poison.
Well, time of all my upgrades to do the thing. This is going to be the Mine Flayer! Yay! I love this boss, he says. No, it's not it's kind of Balrog. Never mind. I love this boss even more. Frankly, I only took two hearts of damage from that. And there we go. Down to floor four. Sadly, not another perfect clear, but can we really complain? We already have two perfect clears. No, we don't. I forgot. I got stuck in a corner. We only have one perfect clear. Oh! Why have guns? I've never got this one before. Transforms into powerful and under mysterious circumstances. Okay, good to know. But, down to the next floor. The Hallow. Ow. I got hurt. Some enemies can't be poisoned. It is slightly annoying. Okay, I am dying. We have a shield though. Shields are always nice. The only reason I'm not worried about walking because of all the uh, poison effects I have is because of the sponge. If I didn't have the sponge, this would be a very different run. <laughs> nice. These floors usually go a lot worse. I would wish to not die. Thank you very much. Not dying is a hobby of mine. Please die. I want you to die. There we go. Never blank. Uh, having three blanks on floor four is not bad. It's actually really helpful. It means I won't have as much stuff to do later on. Means I can be less dodgy. Okay, one of these needs to die before the upper. And why did that still hit me? <laughs> so much poison. <laughs> the only issue now is I can't see what kind of bullets they are. Like, I can't see the difference between red and blue. So it's very annoying. Uh, I'll take that, and I'll take that. Thank you, and I'll take that. This is a statue of challenge. If you can clear the challenge on the floor. If you can clear the challenge on the floor, you get good rewards. Okay, cool. That wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Okay, 
Okay, admittedly that well, that last one was a bit more than I anticipated, but it's all good. I got the cold at 49 at 5. Uh, this just basically means I get a lot better ice. Freezing things is very good for my business. Of not dying. More of a lot of enemies I don't like. I love the way I can poison uh, mummies and I can poison ghosts, but I cannot poison skeletons. Why can I poison these skeletons now? Spider is dead. Okay. And more armor! I get armor every floor. Woohoo. Uh, I'll come back to that in a second. Sell creep. I don't want to sell anything. Okay, so I've just found this guy who is basically another merchant. Except this time, uh, he f most of the things he sells are passive items that help with bullets. I think this means my bullets will now explode. <laughs> That's a uh, elephant gun. Oh, it's the kill pillars. I have never defeated the kill pillars. Four spirits inhabit four pillars. All four pillars are separate bosses. I have never... I usually get a different level 4 boss, this is not the one I usually get. Well hello kill pillars, please, please die. Okay, I defeated that. I think I took a single hit of damage? I'm not sure. Fat bullets. Oh boy. This makes my bullets sl uh, slower, but bigger. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> That's not good for the enemies. Welcome to the forge. Oh, this is going to be an interesting one. I don't like big open rooms. Big open rooms are my kryptonite. Oh, there's a key. Key is good. Ooh, no, no, don't burn, don't burn. The only enemy as such in this floor, in that one, was a uh, hammer. I don't want to deal with any of these, I don't want to deal with anything at all. But the witch bullets are getting massive. Actually, let's quickly just get up the cold 34. That's how big my bullets get now, with this one. I don't have any bullets I can rebound.
Cool. That was annoying, but it was okay. Ah, no. In this area, we have a very unique final boss. Well, final dungeon area thing where we can get upgrades. Uh, this is the bullet to kill the past. The entire point of this game is to kill your past that you regret. That's why people draw into this dungeon. But that's a very unique one because it sells a lot more items, but they're also the most expensive in the game. You're a friend, right? Yeah, you're a friend. Oh, I have to kill you anyway. Oh, that's upsetting. Um, those are bullet can bullets. They are a requirement for unlocking a character, but, um... But you have to kill them. They don't fire at you or anything, they just, you have to kill them for some reason. It's a shame. It's almost like you're a ruthless murderer who only wants to self-serve themselves. All the bullets on the screen, I can't tell which ones are mine, which ones are theirs. I might need more health, but that's fine. I have bees! Again, this guy, I can get more, um, more things. Uh, I will hold off, because there is an item in the shop I want to maybe get. <laughs> okay, very fast firing weapons are very dangerous. That hammer will only ever hit that one point, it seems. Okay. So that's the Grim Reaper, or the Gun Reaper, I suppose. He will only disappear after you defeat the floor, and he will be an immune enemy who does block bullets, which is very annoying. No, I'm not dead yet. Oh boy. I think I took two hearts of damage. Okay. I need a lot more ammo. I'm probably gonna have to buy health on my final floor. I am sorry guys for not being able to get to the final boss. I have failed spectacularly on the final floor. Well, I'm sorry that I failed you before getting to the final floor. Uh, final boss even. Uh, well, technically also floor. But if you want to see more Gungeon and you want to see a certain... Uh, uh, well, a certain Gungeoneer, please let me know which ones you want to see. Uh, make sure to like, comment and subscribe to let us know that, uh, to let us know what you want to see and that you enjoy what we're doing. Uh, and with that, I shall say, have a good day, Toil. See you next time!